So in the last class, we talked about manufactured wood products or man-made wood products. And the first type of uh, wood-based product we talked about was plywood. And uh, in plywood, we were talking about the size, the sizes available, the thickness, grades, right? And in that, we we were discussing the advantages and disadvantages of plywood, right? So we'll continue with that, finish that, and then we'll move on to the next topic that is plywood. Would you like to ask anything? Um, uh, the property. Uh, thicknesses, sizes, grades. Any questions? No, ma'am. So let's discuss the usage and cost of plywood. Like we discussed all through the types, each different type of plywood can be used uh, in different for different purposes. And uh, in general, if we talk about just plywood, then it is mostly used in furniture for uh, storage and uh, it's used in walls, dry walls, shear walls. Uh, it can also be used in floorings and ceilings. And the mo main uses that we see in India are because in India we don't see um, walls or uh, buildings made out of plywood because we don't live in a cold climate. But uh, in India, we mostly see furniture made out of plywood, kitchen cabinets, wardrobes. And for decorative purposes, plywood is usually covered with uh, um, laminates or veneers. And uh, plywood can also, is also used as a base for wall cladding and wall ceiling and wooden flooring. Like uh, in wooden flooring, you have the base, the concrete base. And then you have a subfloor, and uske upar you place the actual hard, uh, hardwood or softwood flooring. So the layer, the subfloor that lays between the slab and the uh, top flooring is can be ma made out of plywood, or it can be made out of a low quality softwood. Then. Um, the cost of plywood actually varies on uh, based on its type, its thickness, and quality. Like we discussed, the types. So uh, moisture resistant Amar plywood is usually less expensive than BWR or marine ply, and then even based on thickness, three ply will obviously be less expensive than five ply or multi ply. Then uh, even based on grades. Highest quality will be more expensive, lower quality will be less expensive. 
and uh, so uh, when you when you're purchasing plywood for uh, any purpose be it furniture or cladding or anything you need to consider where it's going to be used and what kind and grade of plywood you'll need and based on that you can make an informed decision whether you want to go for um, an mr ply that uh, starts from 28 rupees per square feet uh, again 28 rupees is the starting point it can go over 28 depending on where you're purchasing uh, location and also uh, the thickness or the grade then bwp or uh, boiling water resistant ply starts from 48 rupees per square feet and marine ply is a little more expensive it starts from 75 rupees per square feet as it is uh, waterproof um, and it provides superior uh, and long lasting product and the advantages of plywood is that it is convenient to use you can easily purchase um acquire plywood from any uh, dealer any shop retailer and mm -hmm. you can be assured that uh, if you for example if you're buying a, uh, a green ply plywood then you can be assured if you buy it uh, if in chennai the or whether you buy it in up the floor quality is going to be uh, the same so when it comes to plywood you can be assured that if you're uh, buying uh, from one brand the quality will remain same the pricing will also remain the same and the the end product will also be consistent whereas uh, hardwood and softwoods uh, can vary from um, between what kind of grain they have what quality they have what kind of cut there was and uh, a lot of other features so it is convenient it can be used easily without worrying about the damage to and you don't have to worry about damaging plywood with while you're using nails and screws because it's not exactly wood it's not timber and it is also available in different sizes like we discussed 4 ft by 8 ft sheets or 5 ft by 5 ft sheets uh, which is which makes it favorable in making furniture then uh, durable is another advantage um, people prefer plywood because of its sturdy nature and it's only less superior to wood and it doesn't warp warp means it doesn't get distorted it doesn't change its shape Uh, if uh, there are differences in temperatures like in areas where you see extreme temperature like in deserts or arid uh, climates uh, the days are very hot the nights are very cold in that cases plywood won't change its shape it won't get warped uh, and it doesn't shrink so that makes it good for residential use <clears throat> and it is economical because it is obviously it is a wood based product it's not exactly wood so it is cheaper than wood even soft wood it even pine which is the cheapest of woods it's cheaper than pine wood as well so that makes it a good in, good option to make a uh, furniture and you can give it a nice finish with laminates and veneers so that you can get a superior looking product out of less investment less cost and then it is flexible meaning it is available in many sizes many thicknesses grades densities and even based on what wood it was made out of you can also choose the kind of quality you want so whether you're using it for cabinets whether you're using it for furniture or construction or form work you can buy whatever quality you want then it is also eco friendly because it ensures that there is minimum wastage and it can also be recycled then there are also some disadvantages
the disadvantages are that uh, you cannot carve plywood like you can carve wood because uh, see ply like we know it is made out of different thin 3 to 4 mm thick layers of of processed wood uh, so you cannot exactly carve it or make grooves in it or um, give it a distinct design like you can carve wood then it is a delicate material means a, because it is again made we saw a lot of advantages uh, that come out of the fact that plywood is made uh, in layers like that gives it stability it makes it uh, uh, stronger it gives it more impact resistance and panel shear and chemical resistance but it also uh, creates a problem that it can easily chip or split if there is any impact to those layers agar see it it chips very easily and the splinters because it is processed wood it has a lot of splinters agar aapne plywood ke sath kabhi bhi kaam kiya ho to you know it's very easily to get yourself hurt uh, because of those splinters and you have to take enough precaution to when you're working with it and because of if you on the edges as well because like we saw plywood has those edges which show the layers and if those are low left exposed and if there's any um impact on that then it will split any questions any doubt anything you would like oh, me to repeat okay then uh, another disadvantage of plywood is that uh, it can be easily damaged if it is exposed to water unless unless you're using marine ply which is made to be strong even if it is submerged in water if you're using mr ply then it can easily get damaged if it is exposed to water because it is not waterproof then you have to see when you look at a uh, wood right you can tell that if it has a lot of knots then it won't be good it won't be very useful to make furniture or anything and uh, you can easily assess the quality you can tell if it is a good quality material or not but in case of plywood it is very difficult to tell if it is um, actually a good quality ply or not so it is important that you only buy plywood from uh, good vendors from trusted vendors that you know won't sell you something else in the name of uh, a higher quality brand then unlike wood ply cannot be used just like it is like if you're using teak wood 
if you are making a headboard out of a teak wood you are making a bed out of teak wood then you can just polish it varnish it and you're done but plywood you cannot leave as it is uh, you will have to finish it with any cladding material be it a laminate be it a veneer be it melamine or anything or even if you have to paint it but you cannot leave it as it is like you can leave wood so unless you have any doubts or you want me to go over any other topic in plywood we can move on to fiberboard Okay, so um, if there's no doubt, we'll move on to fiberboard. दो लेक्चर चार लैब वो सारे लेक्चर ही हो गए कितना पढ़ा है so another type of product wood based product is fiberboard and there are three three types of fiberboards and i'm sure you uh, you actually used or at least come across all three of them fiberboards are basically um small wood chips or wood fibers that are comp pressed and heated uh, to uh, compress into these boards and then they are dried and bonded together using a synthetic resin adhesive and um, depending on what uh, size or density of fibers we are using it either results into a high quality board or a lower quality board and all it also depends on uh how much pressure was applied while uh, the board was being compressed the fibers were being compressed into a board if uh, uh, more pressure was applied for a longer time then it would turn into a high density board if the uh, time period was less and the pressure was less then it would be a low density fiber board so there are basically three types of fiber boards one is a particle board which is low in density then we have medium density fiber board which we know as mdf then we have hard board which is a high density fiber board let's um, let's discuss each of them 
so pixel board density fiber board is uh, it is an engineered wood product manufactured from particles and sawmill shaving so in, in this we have wood chips which are bigger in size sawmill shaving are also bigger in size and even sawdust so ultimately the board that uh, is created from out of all of these things isn't very high in quality and it is quite low in density so the most common use of particle board is in thumbtack boards or pin up boards or easels or drawing boards um then uh, a synthetic resin is used to bind these sawmill shavings sawdust wood chip uh, into a board by pressing it and uh, i'm pressing it under high temperature so properties of a particle board uh, consist of so a particle board is a type of fiber board which uh, comprises of uh, somewhat larger pieces of wood or wood shavings than medium like uh, you have to think about it comparatively uh, if we are using if the raw material itself is bigger in size the chips are larger the wood shavings are larger and if we compress them into a board then the quality wouldn't be that high neither the dens density so uh, that that is what happens with uh, particle board because it is a low density board uh, the pieces of board chips or shavings are larger than they are in medium density and uh, then in medium density the size is larger than hard board then particle board is less expensive it is less denser less dense and a little uh, more uniform than usual wood and uh, because it is see it is compressed into a board the other than actual wood but uh, the density is lower and it is obviously less expensive made out of waste material जब हम लोग वुड को प्रोसेस कर रहे होते हैं टिम्बर प्रोसेस कर रहे होते हैं तो उसमें से जो चिप्स और शेविंग्स रेसिड्यू में निकलती हैं उसको बाइंड करके पोर्ट बनाया जाए ऑब्वियसली चोल वुड एंड इवन प्लाई वुड एंड इट इज यूज एज अ सब्सटीट्यूट फॉर वुड और प्लाई वुड वेन द अपियरेंस और ड्यूरेबिलिटी इज नॉट एज इम्पॉर्टेंट एज कॉस्ट मीनिंग यू वॉन्ट टू रियली चीप प्रोडक्ट एंड यूर ओके इफ द क्वालिटी इज इन दैट गुड और इवन इट इफ इट इज नॉट दैट ड्यूरेबल यूज आर्टिकल बुड इन द्लाई वुड और बुड देन पार्टिकल बुड कैन बी मेड मोर बाय using wood veneers on top of it uh then uh, medium density fiber board and hard board are also called high density fiber board hard board is also called high density fiber board they are stronger and denser than particle board and 
पार्टिकल बोर्ड इज वेरी प्रोन टू एक्सपेंशन एंड डिसकलरेशन ड्यू टू मॉइस्चर बिकॉज सी वुड शेविंग एंड क्लिपिंग एक्चुअली एब्जॉर्ब अ लॉट ऑफ वॉटर and because they haven't been processed into a fine dust or a finer uh, end product the problem that happens is it absorbs moisture particle board absorbs moisture very quickly and it gets uh, deformed and it loses its color and especially if it is not painted on uh, or uh, sealed with a polish or varnish so people avoid using it in outdoor spaces or in places where there will be high moisture and uh, if you have to use it in areas like kitchens and bathrooms and laundries jahan pe moisture and uh, pani hoga or uh, what you can do is you can use it as a sub flooring meaning before applying vinyl or lamp vinyl flooring or any soft floor covering you can lay down particle board on top of the slab to uh, make the floor a little smoother or softer then even in particle board you get grades uh different grades different qualities uh, it is uh, the highest high quality of particle board that is available is industrial grade ply uh, i'm sorry particle board or m2 and m3 they are used in cabinets furniture and fixtures and then there is commercial grade ms and that can be used in cabinet and laminated panels laminated panels means that you take a fiber board and particle board and you sandwich it between two lamin counter top grade m2 and it can be used in post formed counter top mean uh uh means when you are renovating a space and you want to upgrade your counter tops but you don't don't want to spend as, as much money then you can change it or replace it with particle board which is again laminated on both sides because obviously counter top is going to be exposed to water or moisture and if that happens it will get deformed so it needs to be treated before it can be used as a counter uh, then you get shop grade m1 which is an economy even which is the cheapest out of all these particle board and it can be used uh in non structural applications which means it can be used in places where the particle board itself is not going to take any load or any weight then there are advantages to using particle board one is that the surface is smoother than of plywood see plywood mein you know aapne sabne plywood ek bar dekhi to hogi and uska surface pe bahut fine uh pass jaisi nikalti rehti hai and it has those are called splinters uh, but particle board ka jo surface hota hai it is smoother do wajah se ek to because the raw material is wood chips and sawd sawdust and uh, saw shaving जो कि लॉन्ग बिगर पीसेस होते हैं एंड व्हेन दे आर कंप्रेस्ड इनटू अ बोर्ड दे फॉर्म अ स्मूदर सरफेस 
patient using the apps of other lumber products so obviously hum based from fake ke na fake ke usko utilize kar rahe hain to making another product so that makes it environmentally friendly because it is a recycled product then particle boards are very lightweight and furniture made from these boards is or is obviously very easy to transport and move around and they are, they cost far less than plywood so it is also cost effective but if and only if you don't mind the end of being durable and lower in quality then the disadvantages to flat particle board is that compared to plywood little more because obviously it is low in density and uh, particle board most of their strength in moisture and becomes swollen and they can be toxic because uh, the the filler the resin that is used to uh, bind all of these sawdust and wood chips together uh, uses urea formaldehyde resin which means and urea and formaldehyde um, are not good for your health and formaldehyde is considered a toxic gas so and the process of manufacturing particle boards is not very healthy uh, but uh, once it is manufactured and when you use it in your interiors it is still not confirmed whether it still keeps emitting formaldehyde gas or not but yeah if you can avoid using particle health concerns then you can obviously find a substitute for that now we have uh, okay any questions regarding low density fiber board or particle board no no So let's start with medium density fiber board or MDF, as it is commonly called. Uh, MDF is an engineered wood product formed by breaking down soft wood into wood fibers, often in a defibrillator. So it means we take uh, soft wood and we see defibrillator is basically like a mixer grinder for industrial level work so it turns soft wood into very fine wood fibers and when then those wood fibers are combined with wax and resin binder and uh, um, it is uh, put under pressure and under a high temperature that makes it into panels or boards and uh, MDF is made up of separated fibers but it can also be used as a building materials similar to plywood and it is far more dense than a normal particle board
moisture so some of the properties of mdf boards are that they are moisture resistant so uh, look when we talk about any wood manufactured product being moisture resistant it doesn't mean that they are absolutely immune to water they are not affected by it absolutely not because no matter what kind of wood you take and how you process it it is always affected by water and mdf being a wood product is is also prone to some damage if it is exposed to water but um but it can uh, but if it is properly sealed by painting uh, varnish polish or uh, laminates or anything then uh it can be exposed to water without being damaged uh mdf does not stand stand well under water under uh, weight it can withhold a lot of weight but compared to plywood or normal wood uh, but it can easily see you can make cabinets or even wardrobes out of uh, mdf it will be fine because you it can take up to 50 to 60 kg of weight um but it is not as strong as uh, plywood is or normal wood is Hold on, I think there's a network issue. Let me get it back. Give me a second to reconnect. Okay, is the presentation visible? Is the presentation visible to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Uh, another property of MDF is that it is prone to normal wear and tear. uh and because it is a compressed board 
it any furniture or any product made out of mdf needs to be taken care of otherwise it uh, gets damaged very easily and also um, it is not it doesn't stand very well under uh, water exposure and another same concern that we had with particle boards uh, follows on to mdf because again the rail resin used in all these fiber boards be it particle be it mdf or hardboard the resin is same it's urea formaldehyde formaldehyde resin and when um, it, it this product mdf is being used to construct anything then uh, the sawdust carries this uh, this uh, formaldehyde fumes and that can be quite harmful to people's health uh, unless you you are buying a factory finished product means you are buying a complete product that was made in a factory somewhere uh, the that's going to be fine because the sawdust isn't going to enter your home but even then it is it needs to be sealed properly the ends need to be sealed properly uh, then there are few advantages to using mdf uh that it is very smooth because the wood fibers are first uh, processed into a fine into fine fibers and then it is pressed into a uh, panel so it is very uniform and the surface is very smooth and it has a low tear out which means that if you saw it or cut an mdf board it is it cuts very smoothly and you don't see any jagged edges or any rough edges when you where you cut it and to create a nice finish uh, on an mdf board all you need is some pr a little primer and uh, two coats of paint and it will look just like a finished product wood product and then it only has a mild reaction to moisture which means it doesn't swell up or it doesn't deform that much in high humidity but if it is submerged in water it will deform but if it is just a humid space that will be fine it is mdf is used in furniture shelves uh, laminate flooring uh, just like we talked about particle board you cre you create a level surface with an mdf and then you Uh, cover it with a soft floor covering, semi-hard sort of uh, floor covering like a laminate sheet or a vinyl sheet. And uh, it is also used as a decorative molding or in doors. And it is uh, valued for its heat in and sound insulating properties. And it can be nailed, glued, screwed, or stapled. just like any normal wood and it also is made out of waste wood uh, materials so that means it is a env environmentally friendly product
there are uh, just like there are advantages to mdf there are also disadvantages mdf produces large large amounts of airborne dust when it is being cut or sawed and that can cause breathing problems and also formaldehyde and mdf is not very durable um, as compared to plywood it is not that durable and it cannot bear a lot of weight so you cannot make beds or any such furniture out of mdf all you can make is uh, maybe side tables or cabinets or something like that and even then you have to create or manufacture it with a lot of care we are left with two more products one is hardwood and one is veneers but before we continue with that i would like you all to at least make notes uh, because you are going to have to make uh, uh, files assignments for the all these topics so in this next hour start with that assignment and start with the manufactured wood manufactured product the first one which was plywood then fiber boards and then the two fiber boards that we discussed and i'm going to upload this presentation on google classroom and you can refer to it and don't copy it okay use the notes that you've made in class okay yes or no yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, no. yes. okay okay start doing that before we start hardcore and the next topic but otherwise you'll have a lot of work to complete and you'll get overwhelmed 